name is Matt McGann. You may know me as one of the hosts of ZigZag. In my other life, I'm Associate Director of Admissions, helping to select the freshman class every year. I'm also a graduate of MIT, class of 2000. People are so curious to know, what is the life of an MIT student like? What would it be like to be a first semester freshman? So we chose five students who represent the diversity of the freshman class. Min is a ball of fire and a real social leader on campus. Evan is someone who's really excited about all the right things about MIT. Jen's enthusiasm and curiosity personifies the MIT student in and out of the classroom. Washoma is someone whose friends are always talking about his warmth and compassion. Star comes to us all the way from Hawaii, and she's really involved on campus. And here are their stories. This was going to be the school that I was going to cross off my list. Right. And fell in love with it. That there, everybody had something to talk about. Everybody wanted to talk about what they did. And it was just really cool to see the amount of people and just like all the energy. They're actually a pretty vibrant um, uh, liberal arts uh, scene here, like at least with theater. Before I visited, I didn't realize um, how much of a presence there was uh, in fields outside of the, the kind of core sciences and engineering. I got my first impressions, my very first impressions of MIT from bad sci-fi movies. You know, the, the cool hero always comes in with a gadget and he's gone to MIT, clearly. Did you have a favorite of the classes that you took this year? It's a toss-up between biology and uh, foundations of theater practice. Tell me a little bit about each one. Well, biology is really interesting. I'm really interested in genetic uh, design and like the uh, field of genomics, and that was a big part of what we covered in the class. Uh, I actually did the, uh, the one-act shows in the fall. I was a lightboard ops and uh, did some lighting design and sound design there too. My favorite uh, teacher was Jerry Orloff, who taught math, and he was amazing, very good at explaining things. Professor Sadaway um, always made classes interesting. Every five minutes at the end of class, he stopped teaching and related exactly what we were doing to something in history, something in the news, some research that was going on. There's a lot of experimentation, a lot of finding stuff for yourself. Lift the arm and A lot of just kind of playing around and, and, and tinkering with stuff. MITRE stands for MIT Electronic Research Society, and it's a lot like Jim Henson's Creature Workshop, I think. So every Friday, people get together at MITRE's for what we call build parties, where you can bring any idea you want and build it, and other people will help you with it if it's cool and uh, it's an amazingly unique place. It doesn't exist anywhere else that I know of. Uh, today I'm learning how to program AVR microcontrollers to make a uh, box for my dorm door that tells people whether I'm in the room or not. So it sits on my door, and when I'm in the room, the screen light lights up. When I'm out of the room, it's a red light. I live in a very unique place. I live in Bexley Hall, which some people will say is an unfriendly dorm, but I love it. It's the closest proximity to the academic side of campus, so I get to get out of bed 10 minutes before class. The community at Bexley is unique because people choose to be there, and I think that's how every dorm is. Every dorm is unique to its own community and its own residents. Well, I swim every day, and I've started swimming at the beginning of the term. It's amazing. It's the best pool I've swum in, and I've heard it's the best pool east of the Mississippi. Going to MIT means you have a lot of opportunities, and sometimes you have to go look for the ones that are best for you. In the beginning of the term, they have a fair where all the different activities are there trying to get you to join them. What were some of the activities that you saw? I got into this magazine publication called The Triple Helix at MIT, and it's basically a journal, and it discusses science and society, and I'm on the executive board now after a semester, and it's really cool because the amount of time you put into the activity is pretty much proportional to like how far you go in it. And I saw other really cool things like the ballroom dancing team, just a lot of really interesting things. Um, this was another surprise when I was applying here was that I realized sports are a huge part of MIT's like culture. Uh, but for me specifically, I'm on the crew team. MIT has a designated varsity sports time, which is five to seven every night during the week, and then the coaches kind of decide when to torture you on the weekends. And we usually meet for a couple hours Saturday morning. Uh, for me, it's sort of a stress reliever. Coming out of classes, before I do my homework, I get to, to work off some steam, and 
I get to spend time with the crew team and crew's always been a huge part of my life so that was sort of a, a familiar thing I brought from home. So Europe is, is an undergraduate research opportunities program. Um, it's basically uh, an opportunity for undergrads to do a lot of the research that that you wouldn't normally run into until grad school at other schools. <laughs> oh yes, there are parties in a way here. That if you're going to survive all the worries, you want to make sure that you're having fun with other people. We all have like ideas and we're very idealistic. That's I guess what being this age is. And that's that's part of the, I think that's something different about being here is that if you want to do something, you can and most students do. Explore your interests and follow your passions. <laughs> And then there's always the first hack that you actually do. Well, I can't tell you. <laughs>